Now, as you can see, I've moved over to a different corner of the garden. I've finished uh, blitzing that bed over there um, and if you may well remember, I've actually put the greenhouse frames on there and a few other bits and pieces. Um, I've now moved over to sort this area of the garden out. Um, so that's the next job. Now you may be able to see in front of me here <clears throat> and at the bottom of your screen, um, a rather brown area. This was where the chickens were. But because I'm doing this section of the garden here, uh, I needed to move them. So I've moved them over to that, uh, that side of the garden um, and they've got some lovely grass that they can now eat. So this is what the chickens do if being in one place for about a month, they completely decimate the grass. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have raised beds over here and it will grow back. But let me show you um, what I've got to do here. I did start some yesterday, um, but um, I just thought I would show you what this area of the garden looks like. Right, so this is the bed that I am going to sort out now. This little section of the garden is actually on a slight incline. Um, so um, it's not much of an incline, um, but I'm going to have to work with it. I might be able to level it off actually because it's not much. Um, now in this bed here I've already started it but um, the section over there and up into the corner is going to be my herb patch. I'm going to have all sorts of different herbs in there <clears throat> and that's the perfect place for it to be honest with you because it's right next to the back door so um, very close to the kitchen. This area here just to the side of me um, I'm going to level off and I've got a little shed where I keep all my tools um, which I'm going to put in there but obviously I need to clear that bed um, and make it nice and level maybe with some paving slabs um, before I put the shed on it um, but in this um, this bed or both of the, this area, we've got quite a few um, weeds and plants, which I'm gonna have to take all of them out. Um, now we've got um, some stinging nettles, lots of stinging nettles. Um, so I need to be very careful with them because they are actually quite tall. They, I, I cut these ones off. Um, I've got, there's all sorts of other weeds as well. Um, there's some verbena in here which are these beautiful little purple flowers now i did have some over there um, and some in the hydrangea bed um, and they are lovely and the bees love them but they're just in the wrong place um, they grow quite sort of spindly um, and at the end of every season you need to sort of chop them down so it sort of helps control them um, but they'll all need to come out as well. There's also a massive grass in here as well, um, an ornamental grass. I did have one of these at where we lived before, um, but it was nowhere near as big as this. It was actually quite small and it is lovely, um, but that's huge. So it's going to take quite a lot to get that one out. Um, and then I came across um, some brambles as well and various other weeds and there is a lot especially in the corner and on this little side here an awful lot of ivy um, so I'm gonna have to be very careful taking that off because some of it has attached itself to the house and some of it has actually gone underneath the uh, the roof slates so um, I need to be very, very careful when um, I remove that. Um, but I did start this um, yesterday. Um, I started to cut down some of the, the weeds and um, the grasses uh, using just a big pair of shears um, so that you can get the top section off so that you're just left with about six inches worth of plant and then it makes it easier to dig out. So this is the next um, job I've got to do is to clear this. So um, I better get started or I better carry on and then at the end of the day I'll show you how far I've got. 
Well, um, I th I'm exhausted now. Um, hopefully you can see that I've cleared this section of the, of the bed. This is where um, my plastic shed is gonna go. Um, I've also taken off all the um, ivy or most of it. I need to get um, out the side gate and through to the other side um, just to get the last few remnants um, of the ivy off um, but I will do that um, another day. I've just got this far corner to sort out which to be honest with you I'm a little bit worried about going in the corner because um, there's a lot of ivy there and uh, there's lots of dark places that massive spiders can hide in. So um, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll have to go very, very carefully when I do that. I'll start from the outside and I'll gradually work my way in. Um, I have started to break up this grass here, um, but it's so big and it's so large. I'm having to sort of get the fork in um, and break small bits off at a time. Um, so I've done an awful lot of that um, and it's come to the time where I just need to uh, finish for the day. Well, I hope you found what I've shown you interesting. Um, as you can see over here, um, I've got four um, boxes full of um, the debris that I've actually taken out from this bed. Um, as you can see, I've got an awful lot more to do, but um, I hope you found what I've shown you interesting and uh, I will see you very soon. Bye bye.